Welcome to Jerusalem's Playroom. Guys, I have little baby Zara here and that I'm holding. And the reason why I'm doing this video because I want to talk about something, a topic that nobody has really talked about in a while, and that is baby showers. Yes, baby showers. I'm going to jump right into it because this is uh, kind of funny to me. So there is a first time mom, um, my daughter and I were talking and the first time mom is excited as she should be. This is her first child. And it was told to her, my daughter, that she was having four baby showers. I was like, four baby showers? That's a lot. And so I was trying to understand and comprehend what would a mother need with her first child that she would need to have four baby showers as a mom and a grandmother myself i have been to plenty of baby showers and at the baby showers i'm always noticing the same things over and over and over again me myself thinking back when i was a first time mom all you think about is the gifts. You want gifts, you want gifts, you want gifts. But nobody ever really sit down to think about, hey, what will my baby need for the first year of its life? Do I have everything to take care of my baby for that first year? Most of the times, no. So that's what this video is about here. And I'm going to show you guys baby Zara now. Now, and this is just for play. It's February and it's cold here in my state. I live in the state of Alabama. Now, Zara is just coming home from the hospital. Now, since this is cold outside, I have her dressed in a two-piece outfit with an undershirt on. And as you can see, her hands are warm and her feet are covered up because it's cold outside and I want to make sure she stays warm. She doesn't have any hair, so that's why I have this hat on her head. Now, I have this thick crochet blanket. And let me sit her down here, guys, because this is one of the items that I see at baby showers all the time. This is a crochet blanket, usually made by hand. Most of them are made by hand anyway, by someone in the family or a friend. These items are made as heirlooms to go with the baby when they grow up. So when Zara becomes a mother one day, she will pass this down to her baby. Whether she has a girl or a boy, this one here has the different colors in there because it can be used for a girl or a boy. Now, these items here can go on the bed when Zara gets out of the crib and gets in her toddler bed she can have this on her bed to keep her warm she can also use this when she's in college and well high school and college if she gets cold and she wants to keep warm she can wrap this around her while she's studying and like i said before she can also pass this down to her daughter she can even use it as wall art on the wall of her room so these are gifts that i see that a baby would need because this goes with the baby as they grow up and they are not to be given away this is something that was handmade special for the baby but a lot of people give them away and don't like them but guys i just love them okay Next, when you are going to a baby shower, depending on when the baby's born, you want to think about the type of blanket you're going to get. February, we have that crochet blanket because it is cold. But during the summer months, we may want something a little bit thinner because it's warm outside. We don't want our baby to overheat. So with that, we would use the thin uh, flannel uh, blankets. They are really thin and usually they come in a pack of five that I've seen at Walmart. And I'm going to say Walmart a lot, guys, because that's the store I shop at. I shop at Walmart a lot. So when you, you go in there, you if you decide to get them this, you can get them a, a couple of these. And these are actually good um, to cover, cover the baby up. If you're going into the store or if it's sunny outside, you can block the sun out to provide shade for the baby as you're carrying the baby around. Now, they also make good for if you have one like this, you can cut these up and make washcloths out of them. 
or you can use these as towels to uh, dry the baby off when you're bathing. They make great um, pads up under the bed if the baby is sleeping. So if you don't have a uh, crib pad, you can use this to put up on the baby and up under the changing tape on the changing table. So these are excellent gifts to give to a mother at her baby shower. Now this one here is a little bit is a little bit thinner. My uh, blanket just fell. This one is a little bit thicker, but it's still thin. And this will be perfect if you're going somewhere in the summertime. For instance, if it's cold, like a church, or you're going into the grocery store and it's really cold in the uh, frozen goods section, then you will want to have something like this over your baby to keep your baby warm. So not too thick, but a little, you know, thick, just enough to keep the baby warm in the store. Now, another thing that's good to give to a baby is bibs. Babies are going to mess up. They're going to spit up all the uh, spit up. And so when they spit up, you want to make sure you have something to wipe, wipe their mouth with. So you can, they have all different kinds at the store. Here's one that I found and it reads, thank heaven for little girls. And here's a cute little one um, that came in the set. And then this one here that reads, My First Easter. Why not go ahead and get the baby something for the up-and-coming holiday? Here is February, so you have um, Valentine's Day coming up. And then after Valentine's Day, we'll be getting ready for the Easter. So why not go ahead and do a Easter basket or something like that for the baby shower for the up-and-coming um, holiday? So I think these are great gifts to give at a baby shower. Another great gift to give is socks. A newborn mom will not does not realize how socks are going to be very important for her baby. They range from 0 to 3 months, 3 to 6 months, and 6 to 12 months. Here, if you want to, just go ahead and get her 6 to 12 months. Usually during the summer months, moms don't really put uh, socks on them. They use sandals, so... You want to use these for like the cold months. So Zara can actually probably use this for the next year. So you're giving a gift, not just for this year, but for next year. But at least mom has a choice to put socks on. And since baby feet grow, uh, feet grow quickly, um, having a lot of pairs of socks really is cheaper and it's inexpensive versus buying shoes. Because they feet grow just like overnight but now if you want shoes that's your choice i'm just saying that if you're going to a baby shower and you want a gift that's going to last hey socks is one of them okay here is something that was donated to me a lot of things that i find at the uh, baby showers are washcloths and most parents won't even get to use them this one has two four six eight in here Yes, babies take bath. Mom's going to bathe them. But these, she gets so many of them that she won't be able to use all of them. So why not think outside the box and just give the mom uh, maybe a set of towels and washcloth and maybe have the baby's name sewn on them or have the mom's initials sewn on them or the baby's initials sewn on them. That gift will be used. And then that way, once the baby grows up, they have their own towels and washcloths to pass on. Or maybe the mom wants to give that, save that. And maybe when they move out the house, that can be a gift uh, for college or whatever. So when you're thinking about washcloth, baby cloth, don't just get the baby. Think about when they grow up into adulthood or when they become a toddler. Everybody uses towels and washcloths. I know I do. Here are some little crocheted booties again. I see a lot of parents um, getting at their baby shower. And I'm also going to show you guys this. Because I've seen these at Walmart. And I forgot who gave me this one. I don't know. I don't think I bought it. But I think it was my granddaughter's if I'm not mistaken. When you see items like this, nobody is going to wear this. No baby is going to wear this out in public. These are this item right here is just basically to take photos in. So if your baby is going to take photos or you're going to take photos with the camera, if you're in the hospital and you want to do the first photos, this would be something that you can get if you want that 
for your baby but just giving this as a gift most of the time the baby probably won't even get to wear it and that's why i still got it it's just used for photo props for my dog this item here everybody gets this at their baby shower i'm old school we didn't have these we had them but we didn't pay for them what we did is got a, a dish towel put the dish towel in the bottle got a fork or a spoon and clean the inside of it out like that so i'm old school that's how i clean the bottoms out but a lot of young moms and i'm saying young moms younger than myself or some new moms they just prefer to just, hey, let me get this. It's inexpensive and, hey, they're a dollar. So if you want that, that's fine. But a lot of moms get this um, at the baby shower. So this is just something I choose not to get. If you want to use it as a bag filler, good. Here's another item that moms get that they don't use. And this one was gifted to me, through, well, donated to me. So let me show you guys something because when you're in the hospital, you can ask the nurse and the baby nurse for extra items. They're not going to give it to you if you don't ask. Ask for it. Here is a nose syringe. Here is a baby thermometer. Uh, here is a little syringe. The hospital has those three items and you can ask for extra. What are they going to say? No, you're getting it for the baby. So with this right here, you don't really need this at all. This little thing to take the medicine with, they have the little breast uh, things like this that if you want to pump bre your breast milk in, you can get the axe for that. Just axe. The toothbrush, you can buy a toothbrush from the dollar store for $1.25 20, uh, or from Walmart. So this right here, this is just for display in here. And like the little alcohol wipes and stuff like that. Guys, don't put this on your gift registry. Please don't. This is just, it's unnecessary. Let me say that because why pay for something like this when you can get it free? You're already in the hospital. If you need extra items, just ask for it. That's all. What are they going to say? No. Just say, hey, is it okay if I can get an extra syringe? Most nurses were like, sure, because that's their job. They love that. So I know I used to work in the, um, on the third floor at my hospital. I was a former OB tech. So I'm telling you guys, just ask. Okay. Another thing here, guys, I wanted to show you is make sure when you go into a baby shower to ask the parent, the mom, the parents, what type of soap they're going to use. A lot of people don't use Johnson & Johnson anymore. I do. So I bought the Johnson & Johnson because this is what I grew up on and this is what was used in my family. But now you have Dove and this is a little small thing of Aveeno. So make sure you ask the moms what they're going to use to bathe their baby. Now the reason why I said that and if they're going to use a uh, powder, this is Johnson & Johnson, just ask them. So because you may want to get them some of this. This is stuff that they're going to use. They, they, hey, even I use this stuff so adults use johnson and johnson even though it says for babies grown people use them so if you give this make sure you ask because the mom will use it now the reason why i say that is because i went to um, my dollar store and i bought a i did a basket for someone and i got them this and i thought about it, i was like oh a lot of people don't like using dollar dollar tree brand stuff so i just kept this for my for my dolls i use this to clean my dolls with and things like that so when you're giving things like this make sure you ask because a lot of mothers do not like putting um this on their um their babies but with me it, it's all the same but some mothers don't so make sure you ask because hey it's your money if you want to throw it away throw it away but just think about some other ways to give a gift for a mom okay guys then i have this diapers ask the moms do they want pampers or do they want cloth diapers some mom might say what what is a cloth diaper <laughs> oh my goodness growing up when i was a baby my mom used cloth diapers like this uh, you would put them on the baby and have a safety pin 
Now these can be used as burp cloths. If you want to, if you get some, you can save them and just use them as burp cloths to put the baby on. You can use them um, to line the tub to bathe the baby in. You can do that. So, you know, if you get them, they are useful, but I found these. Someone decided they didn't want them, so they gave them away. I don't know why, but I kept them. So I got three of them. Then they have these kinds with the snaps. These are still considered cloth diapers. They are adjustable. Uh, they come in different colors. I have one for a boy and a girl. And you can use them on a newborn baby. That's why they have the little um, snaps in the middle and on the side so you can adjust them. They are washable. So if you have a mom who's going to be at home and she wants to save money on um, pampers, or, you know, you can get her something like this. If she said, hey, I want to use both, then this would be good because this will grow with the baby and she will have it a long time. The next thing to ask the mother, and I'm saying the mother because she's the one carrying the baby, parents, what type of diapers they're going to use. Here I have a pack of Pampers. You got Pampers, you got Loves, you got Huggies, you have the Honest Diapers. I got a, just a small pack here. You got the Honest Diapers. And you also have the generic kind. Now, most parents may say they don't care. My grandson had to use a certain particular type of diapers. I think it was Huggies because he he was, uh, the other diapers broke him out. So most babies may can use all of them. Some can and some probably can't. So when you're asking for the diaper, just say, hey, which type of diapers are you planning on using? because I want to give you that and they'll tell you so that way you won't give them the wrong kind of diapers because I've been seeing diapers in the thrift store I it just I don't know the next thing um, I want to show you guys is hats especially in the one a months like now Zara has doesn't have any hair so hats are really good um, to give for babies um, especially in the winter time now in the summertime you may want the little thinner ones because that helps with the sun and everything like that. So you don't want them to get sunburned. So hats are a great thing to give at a baby shop. Now, this is one of the items that I want to ask you guys to please, 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 please make sure you ask the parents or the mom, is she breastfeeding or is she bottle feeding? If she is bottle feeding, you have to ask her what type of bottles is she planning on using? Because you have the Playtex. This is the newer version. This is the older version. Both of these, you just slide the bottom in. They also have, um, let me see guys. They also have the Playtex kind that you just, um, I had it right here. Where it doesn't take, i found it in a minute, where it does not take the um, plastic going in there. It's just like a regular bottle. You don't have to put the little disposable bags in there. So next you have, here's another little special play tags. Then you have the Munchkin Latch. You have that kind of bottle. You have the Juvie bottle. Okay, you have the Advent bottle. This is a tinted one. They have them clear. They come in blue. Um, you have the Ma'am bottle. They come in the small and they come in tall, four and eight ounces. Okay, you have the Noopy bottle. You have these right here. Okay, then you have the Event bottle. Event comes in clear, pink, blue, and they have this one that has a print on there. Then here's another little Noopy bottle. It's an orange color. Okay, then you have the Dr. Brown bottle. You have pink, you have clear, and you have blue. So you ask the parents what type of bottles they want. Here is a Nook bottle right here then you have the tummy tippy bottle all of them come in four to eight ounces and then here is the other bottle that i was telling you about the playtech bottle this one you just pull the milk in there so you don't have to worry about the bag so if they say yeah i want playtex you have to ask them what kind of playtex bottle they want guys because i'm finding all of these bottles and i'm like oh my goodness i know babies grow out of them but that's why I said when you're asking for a gift, make sure you're asking for things that your baby need, things that you're going to use, because that way you can get more gifts and you can get more of the things that you need instead of useful things that you now need and you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings and you just give them in the thrust, donate them to the thrust store. 
Okay. Now, here is something also, a Barbie. These are perfect gifts. And I don't know why I, I find them at my local thrift store. They range from 40 from 30 to 40 dollars a little maybe they may have gone up you can even buy the covers so if you say well hey i want a boppy somebody can buy you this and then you can say well i need some boppy covers somebody can buy the covers so that way this can grow with your child when zara grows up this can be a pillar on her bed people make covers for them she can have her name printed and made on them not only that mom they are good if you are trying to breastfeed and you are you can put this around you. I'm trying to do a stream straight and breastfeed your baby comfortably. Then not only that, if your, do your baby doesn't want a mom and you don't want to get rid of them, I use them in my bed and I sleep with them. They are perfect pillows to sleep on, especially if you're traveling. So this is a gift that you want to ask for that can be used forever. I'm saying forever because I know I use mine. I, I sleep on them. And then if somebody come over here got a baby, I can just wash the top, wash the cover, and then put the baby on there. So, guys, this is something perfect that's for a gift. But just don't ask for three or four or five of them. If you got one person that's getting it, that's fine. Just don't tell five or six people that you want the same thing. And that's another thing, guys. When you're doing a baby shower registry, Try to stick to one or two. If you got a gift registry and you're asking for something on one, um, at one place, ask for something totally different on the other one. If you're asking for a bobby at Walmart, don't put it on your Target registry. If you do, that's fine. I'm just saying, try to get, if you want to get more gifts at your baby showers, just try this so that way you can have. The items your baby need for a year. If you do this, you won't have to buy your baby nothing. So when people say, "Oh, babies are expensive," you can say, "Oh, I don't know. I I didn't I didn't buy anything for my baby. It was all given to me." I'm telling you. So that first year, you don't have to buy your baby anything because it's already set. Another thing, when you're big gifts, if you know that you're going to get that you your baby has a room you can get a crib don't just get a crib get a bed that's going to grow with your baby you get this big bulky crib and most of the times your baby may not even sleep in there because babies like to bond with the mom especially if you breastfeed so you didn't waste it three to four hundred dollars or unless somebody donated to you you don't waste it three or four hundred dollars on a crib that you never used and then you're trying to sell it on craigslist so, or if you do want a crib, ask family members, hey, can you go, you and auntie put $150 for a crib? Or can you and auntie do 50-50? I don't know how much they cost. I'm just, the most expensive one I saw was about $400, $300. But if you want to, hey, auntie, I need a crib for the bed. Can you and the family or your family get me donate a crib? And they may say yes, because all they're doing is coming out of their pocket $25 or $15 or $10. So if you got five people giving you $10, that's $50. Or if you got 75 people, you do the math. You can get more out of it. And that way that child can know, hey, this family got me this gift. And I'm going to show you a prime example. These are actually great. And this one was donated back to me from my daughter. But these guys, newborn until about the time that six months after that, once the baby starts crawling, they're not going to sit in here. It's so hard for you to get them even to sleep in here. So when you're asking for things like this, don't. See if someone got have one of these that they want to donate, that they're no longer using. If you want this one, leave me a message. I don't know how you're going to get it, but you can have it. Because you don't need to spend money on things like this. Sometimes you can get stuff handed down to you. And that way that helps save you money to do what you want to do. Get your hair done, your nails done, or whatever. Because somebody gifted you something. And that way you can save money and keep it in your pocket. Okay? So when you're thinking about gifts like this, try to first see if you can find someone who donated. And most moms, I'm finding, they got groups on Facebook. And I need to get back on there, but I'm not. But hey, some people just give you baby stuff. Give it away.
I got this. Somebody gave it to me. Okay. Another thing is, this was brand new. I find a lot of these at the thrift store. Somebody said, oh, I want a, a diaper bag. Oh, uh, this one was cute. I washed it and it peeled a little bit. Most moms, young, I don't see them carrying diaper bags like this. They're doing purses. So maybe you want to just give them a purse. Uh, if they want to design a purse, uh, give them a backpack or something like that so they can keep the baby stuff in. Because they don't want to use this. This is too cartoony or this is not girly enough. But it's perfect. But ask them what do they want. If they want a diaper bag like this, and especially with the boys. So make sure you asking the mom. What do they want? What they don't want? Because they may say, yeah, I like it. But then, as soon as you spend $30 on it, it's at the thrift store because they don't like it. Another thing you can get is sheets. Now, if they do have a crib, you can invest in sheets. And this one here is like a pack and play. I found this. A pack and play sheet, sheet um, because they can wash this. So, I just wanted to show you guys this if you want to get them something like this. And then here is something else. Um, it is a big item. But again, once the baby starts sitting up and crawling, it's just going to take up space. And this is what they call like a Moses basket. Now, these are perfect for parents who are uh, co-sleeping. If you have a one-bedroom and you're not able to move and you want a little small place for the baby, a bassinet or a Moses basket would be perfect because these right here, actually, you can keep on the bed so the baby won't get smushed. You can have this in the middle or on the side of you or whatever. So if you have, if you're cold sleeping, you don't want a big old $400 crib. You want something small like a bassinet or something like a Moses basket. I would suggest a Moses basket to keep on your bed. But if you want a bassinet, that's fine. But it's going to take up space. But something similar like that would be fine. So I'm going to pick up Zara, guys. I think that's everything that I showed you guys in this video. Because I'm telling you, I'm going to so many baby showers. And this lady that's going to have uh, four baby showers... I'm telling you, she's going to have the same thing over and over again. So, oh, the final thing. If you are bottle, if you're going to bottle feed, go ahead and get, this is old. Go ahead and ask for milk. If you're going to, most hospitals will give you Similac and Infamil. Well, the hospital I work at. Go ahead and get that. Ask for Similac or Isomil. Now, the reason why I'm saying it, if they get you some milk, ask them if they would give you a gift receipt so that when you take, when the, if the baby doesn't drink that milk, you can take it back to the store and ask them, could you swap it out? If it's still sealed, they may take it. I don't know if it's unsealed, but if you want to do that, or if somebody says, what do you want for your baby shower? Ask for a gift card. I tell people all the time, ask for gift cards because you know what you want. Even if the you don't need nothing for the baby. If you get a gift card, a baby shower card for Walmart, you may need some toilet paper. And I told my daughter this, and I'm telling you this, guys. Everybody uses the bathroom. Whether you're poor, rich, or whatever. Everybody got to use the bathroom, so everybody got to use toilet paper. Okay? So we're not no better than nobody. So since everybody got to use toilet paper, get them a gift card. You save money that way. They'll look, hey girl, you might, what I'm going to need with this? I don't shop at Walmart. You need some toilet, you may need some toilet paper. You got a bathroom, don't you? Get you some toilet paper. Who going to turn down some Charmin? I'm not. <laughs> but anyway, so ask for milk. If you if after the baby's born, if somebody didn't get you a gift or didn't come to the shower and say, hey, what you want? Um, ask for, um, you know, hey, could you give me a can of milk? Because it's $30. So you're spending $30 for an outfit. Why not pay $30 for a can of um, a can of milk, a can of, of formula? And guys, again, if you're in the hospital, ask them for some extra cans. If you're there and you're taught, if you feel comfortable enough, ask. What can they say? They can either say no or they can say yes. But you won't know unless you ask. So if you need some extra while you're there at the hospital, ask for it. That's why they're there. If you need help, ask for it. It's people out here that want to help, but you don't ask for help. How can we help you? 
all of this stuff in here that I got, I bought it because I like it. I want to help somebody. Yeah, I can't help nobody if they don't ask. And if they don't want it, then I can't give them something that they don't want, but I don't know what they need. So you're asking for, you want a $500 crib, where are you going to put it? Or you in a one bedroom and you, you want this big bulky furniture, where are you going to put it? You don't need that all of that stuff. When you get your first house, yes. Now, if you're getting bulky furniture for your baby and you plan on having multiple kids, save it. Save it for the next baby. Say, pass it down. If you have cousins or somebody in your family who's having a baby, pass it down. Somebody is always in need. Ask your church if somebody's having a baby. If they would like something, you got some gifts. If they can say yes or no, you know, you're giving it away. And so that's a calling of mine. I, I guess that's the will God has for me. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and put, pick up uh, Zara and show you guys her again. Okay, here she go. So she is all uh, wrapped up and warm. And I thought this blanket was so cute when I saw it. That's why I got it. And so if you're going out and you got your coat on and you're wrapping your baby up, somebody's like, oh, let me see your baby. And all you got to do is just hold her down or him down so they can see it. They don't have to touch, but you can hold her down, hold your baby down. And she is already... And just think if a mom was, uh, when I see him going out the hospital, sometimes I just smile or I see him, I tell him congratulations. The baby's already in the car seat and everything. They don't let them walk out, I'll go out holding them. Some of them do. But anyway, guys, so again, um, going, I've gone to several baby showers. And so I think outside of the box and I think about the gifts. And be, I'm about to get ready and go because I forgot to do to, to say this let me put her back down to show you guys one more thing so this is the last thing good thing i look down when you go into a baby shower go ahead and kill two birds with one stone this this reads happy birthday go ahead and give zara a gift for february for next year so here you have if you want to you can do this outfit here is a little onesie for when she turns six months for the summer it you can go ahead and get a outfit for the up-and-coming holiday like memorial day or the fourth of july and i'm saying that because of the colors or for the summer months or if you decide not to do that you can give her her first birthday outfit for when she turns a year old because it's going to be cold in february so go ahead and give her a gift with a little head bow if you want to put some shoes with it. It's a little dress, a knitted dress. So that way you can go ahead and, and kill two birds with one stone. You don't just have to get baby items. Or if you, you want to do two months, two, uh, 24 months, and you want to do on up, you can do that. Build her stock, help her mom with her wardrobe. So that way she won't have to buy clothes for up to two years. So it's not hard, guys. It's really easy. And when people say babies are expensive, that way your money can be used for daycare. You can, if, if some people want to get together and pay for daycare, that'll be a gift, a baby shower gift. Well, hey, I pay your daycare up for a month or I pay your daycare for a week. That would be better. That's something useful that the mama can use or pay for after school care or something like that. Pay for mom to go to get a massage or get her hair done. That can be a shower gift. You don't just have to necessarily think about the baby. You can think about mom too. But um, but again, when you're thinking about baby shower gifts, you, you want to make sure your money is being used. Because I'm telling you guys right now, if I pan this camera around and show you all the stuff that I got at the thrift store. And I just look and I'm like, yep, somebody had a baby shower. Yep, they couldn't wear it. They, they got rid of it. Yep, they didn't want it. And my son, he's telling me all the time, mom, these young mothers don't want all this stuff. They're not into that. So if you're going to go to their baby shower, you're going to go to a baby shower. You want to give them something that they're going to use. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. And you guys have a wonderful day. All right. Bye-bye.